It's spring in the northern Sierra Nevada mountains. And all across the Tahoe National Forest, wildland firefighters are getting ready. Fire season is coming. This summer and fall, wildland firefighters will be on high alert. When smoke is reported, Tahoe National Forest firefighters respond. Even small flames can grow into a large, destructive wildfire. Fighting fire in wildlands is far different than in an urban setting. Tahoe National Forest engines and hand crews are some of the first to arrive at a wildfire incident. The engines carry water and hose lays are deployed through rugged terrain. Hose lays enable firefighters to engage in direct attack, dousing the flames. Hand crews also encircle the wildfire with fire line. Fire line is constructed with chainsaws, hand tools, and sweat. Vegetation and fuels are removed to bare mineral soil. By removing all burnable material, fire line can stop a wildfire's progression. The work will be tough and the hours will be long. Extensive preparation is needed and this spring is no exception. Tools are meticulously maintained and organized. Engines are examined and tested. Firefighting teams drill and practice in the presence of live fire, mimicking conditions they will soon face. Wildland firefighting requires top physical conditioning. Firefighters engage in cardio and strength training. On the Tahoe National Forest, the question is not if a wildfire will occur, but when. And when it does, we will be ready. The risk of massive, destructive wildfire is greater than ever. Our forests have changed. Hundreds of years ago, low to medium intensity fires routinely burned the mixed conifer forests of the Sierra Nevada. Like nature's cleanup crew, these natural fires removed small shade tolerant trees, brush, and forest litter. Tall, mature conifers evolved to survive low to medium intensity fires with resistant bark and their crowns high above the flames. Natural wildfire created a healthy forest that looked something like this. Large areas of mature trees with little understory, smaller clumps of dense vegetation and scattered openings. Animals found places to hide, nest, and forage. As modern society settled near and within Sierra Nevada forests, trees were harvested to build homes and infrastructure. New reservoirs stored water for drinking, hydrological power, and downstream agriculture. Wildfire posed a risk to these resources, so they were put out.
fire has now been excluded from Sierra Nevada forests for over a century. Without nature's cleanup crew, previously harvested forests regrow crowded without fire to thin them. Forest litter builds. Shade tolerant species multiply. These are not healthy forest conditions. Today's crowded forests are more susceptible to drought and disease. During a drought, limited water cannot support excess vegetation. Insects like bark beetles feast on drought-weakened trees. Dead or dying trees burn far more easily than those in a healthy forest. The buildup of this extra flammable material, combined with rising annual temperatures, creates wildfires in today's forests that burn hotter and faster than ever before. Ladder fuels carry flames into crowns that kill entire stands. Even seeds in the soil are destroyed. It takes decades for these burned forests to recover. Wildland firefighters aren't the only Tahoe National Forest employees trying to stop large, catastrophic wildfires. Fuels officers, foresters, biologists, and field crews are reducing the risk of future wildfires by restoring forest health today. Utilizing the latest technology and ecological research, forest health projects are planned and analyzed. Specific trees are selected for thinning. Sensitive resources are surveyed and protected. Contractors use equipment or hand crews to remove the selected trees. Under specific conditions, fire is reintroduced to the forest. Prescribed and managed fire, like mechanical treatments, removes overcrowded trees and ladder fuels, creates openings, and increases habitat for sensitive species. Forest health projects are large, complicated, and costly. Partner organizations support the Tahoe National Forest and provide critical input and funding. These partnerships have increased our pace and scale of restoration. At the end of each project, results are inspected, methods are refined, and the process starts again. The goal, however, remains the same. A healthy, less crowded forest, resilient to drought, disease, and wildfire. A forest where wildlife thrives, communities flourish, and crucial watersheds are protected. It's been a busy spring, and there's more work to be done this year and the next, but we're ready for the task. All of us on the Tahoe National Forest, moms, dads, your neighbors, and friends, we are all working together to stop wildfires and increase forest health. Because there's so much at risk. Your source for clean water. Your outdoor recreation. Your escape. 
from the urban world. Your protective and sensitive species. Your favorite place to hunt and fish. Your livelihood. Your children's resources. Your public lands. Your Tahoe National Forest.